as well for you to be able to receive the recordings. Perfect. And related to how we create our reality, I want to share with you a small story, short story. So a few days ago, I was walking on this beautiful island of La Palma, one of the Canary Islands. And on the street, I, I have met a young guy, a young man. And he asked me, what am I doing? And what is my job? And so on. And I told him that I channeled the Pleiadians and we talked a bit about that. And at one point he asked me, Octavia, what do you think? Are there good things to, to happen for, for the earth? Are we going to shift to a, a better reality, to a to better um, outcome? And my answer was, yeah, for sure, because this is exactly what I want to create in my reality, because this is how I have been trained, never to think about external circumstances, never to think about anything outside my body and mind and to always think what do I want to create so when he asked me what do you think are there going are there better things going to come I said definitely in my reality there are really good things happening right now and much better things coming and I said this, he asked me how come, and I said, well, there are different timelines and there are different parallel realities and I choose where I place myself. So if I do not want to create any kind of what would call it negative outcome, I'm not going to think about it and I'm not going to place myself there. So I'm quite sure that um, I don't want to create any or frightening story. I don't want to create any story that is not aligned with my highest intentions. So my, ans my answer was, for sure, really good things are coming because this is exactly what I create. And this is, um, on this topic, we are going to, to work today. So you can um, see and understand how you create your reality and to see and understand that there are actually no outside circumstances. I also know that some of you, um, some of you at times get into this kind of conspiracy theories or you get sometimes into believing different stories that you don't really want to bring on your timeline. And I will just give you some examples. One of it is related to the 5G technology. Another one is related to the vaccination and related to COVID and so on. And I know that some of you are not really afraid, but more like rejecting these stories, saying that they are really negative and so on. And by rejecting them, you actually give them importance and you bring them into your reality. So I ask those of you who know that you do not want to create these stories in your life. You are not really interested in placing yourselves on, that, in, on those timelines to get out of these stories and to ask yourselves, do I really want to create that? Do I really want to live that? Because if the answer is no, then what you have to do is to stop giving energy, to stop giving attention to that story and to focus exactly on what you want to create in your reality. So I invite you to let go of any kind of theories, of any kind of stories or of any kind of limitative thinking and to allow yourselves to train your mind to think, what do I actually want to create? Okay, I'm going to start channeling soon. And probably we're going to start with a meditation. So please make yourself comfortable. I usually invite you to find a good position, to find a comfortable position, but as well to 
try not to lay your back on something because this is how you lose your concentration. This is how you get a bit sleepy. So please try to keep your back straight. And someone is asking about the slides. I'm going to send a short presentation to everyone. I'm just going to post it here and you're going to be able to download it. We greet you with love and light and joy. And we invite you to tap into the joy that we bring towards you. To take a deep breath, imagining how you bring this joy inside and to breathe out all of your worries, to breathe out all of those thoughts that are not really aligned with what you want to create here right now. And we invite you to breathe in once more and to breathe out, to allow yourselves to relax into this joy and happiness that we bring towards you right here, right now. We thank you for being here. We thank you for sharing your beautiful presence here, for sharing your energy, for sharing the vibration of love. And we invite you now to take one more deep breath and to exhale. And to shift your attention in the center of your heart. And to slowly connect with your heartbeats, connecting deeper and deeper with the vibration of your own heart. We also invite here all of your higher selves, your spirit guides, your angels, archangels, and ascended masters all those who wish to collaborate with us and to provide, to provide further guidance. We invite you to keep your attention centered in your hearts just for a few more moments, allowing yourselves to step even deeper into the pure vibration of love. And we create now a connection through each and every of you, through the vibration of love, so you can all create and support the energy of this group. We are here to do the same, and we are always delighted to be able to share this information with you. Please take a deep breath and exhale. OK, 
Keeping yourself centered in the heart chakra, allowing this energy center to open more and more. Allowing yourselves to enjoy the tremendous amount of love that is generated by your own hearts. For those who wish to connect at even a deeper level with the heart chakra, we invite you to place one of your hands above the space of the heart. And breathe in and breathe out, allowing the vibration of love to form and spread, reaching all of the energy centers. And for this first part of this workshop, we will invite you to connect with the central sun and to allow all the energy centers to be wide open and mostly to activate the Kundalini energy for you to be able to step into reprogramming the mind in a much easier and helpful way. Therefore, we invite you to breathe in and to breathe out. beings from Sirius invite you as well to step into their vibration. We usually receive light language from them. At least during this session, we receive this light language from the blue rays from Sirius. you to breathe in and to breathe out and we are connecting you all right here right now with the central sun allowing this connection to be made through your stellar chakra the last the 12th chakra going even deeper into the crown one, into the crown energy center, allowing the energy from the central sun to penetrate the entire structure, going deeper and deeper, reaching the lower energy centers, activating the solar plexus, activating the bottom of the spine, and we invite you to breathe in here and to breathe out while we are connecting you all with the central sun with our main source of energy 
And we invite you to allow the light from the central sun to enter your structure through the stellar chakra, reaching the crown one, going deeper and deeper and activating all the energy centers in the way, reaching the lower chakras, activating the solar plexus, And now we invite you to take a deep breath and to bring this light into the lower side of your stomach as well into the lower side of your back. Just to drag the energy from the central sun into the solar plexus in the lower side of your stomach and the lower part of your back. And while you're inhaling, you feel the light from the central sun, creating a sphere of light that embraces this entire physical area of your body. And when you exhale, you allow this light to be directed on your spine higher and higher, reaching back the crown chakra. And you breathe in energy, light from the central sun by staying connected with the stellar chakra, with the crown one, allowing the energy to flow into your structure, reaching the solar plexus. We invite you to take a deep breath in, into the lower side of your stomach, into the lower side of your back as well allowing yourselves to create a sphere of light that embraces this entire area. And while you exhale, just to direct this energy to go up higher on your back, going towards the crown chakra again and reaching this energy center. And we invite you to keep breathing and breathe in light from the central sun, allowing this light to activate all of the energy centers, allowing this light to open up all of your chakras and to reach the lower ones where you breathe in this light and you allow the sphere of light to be formed and to embrace the lower side of your stomach and the back, the bottom of your spine and then to direct the energy going upwards on the spine, reaching back the crown chakra. We invite you to keep doing this circuit, to keep allowing the light to come into your structure, to activate the Kundalini energy, to direct this energy on your spine. reaching the crown chakra, leaving the body through the crown chakra. We ask you not to try to do anything precisely, just to breathe in the light from the central sun. Breathe it in, in the lower chakras and to direct it then on the spine, activating the Kundalini energy. Going upper, higher and higher on the spine, reaching the crown chakra.
and you're invited just to stay in the light from the central sun and to allow it to enter your system and to open up all the energy centers. And to reach the lower chakras when you breathe, where you breathe in the light and you direct it towards the spine going upper and upper on the spine reaching the crown chakra you to breathe in the light from the central sun to allow yourselves to download completely this frequency to stay connected with the source to allow yourselves to fully integrate the frequency of light by connecting at a deeper and deeper level with the central sun and allowing the central sun to clear up your entire energy field, allowing the light from the central sun to cut off any kind of energetical cores that are not functional, that are not useful for you anymore, and allowing the light from the central sun to fully activate your light body, your holographic sequence, sequence, and to enjoy this activation as well to remind yourself as often as possible to create a connection with the central sun and to keep bringing this frequency on the surface until it is fully integrated until the kundalini energy is activated automatically and it stays activated all at all times and once more we direct the light from the central sun into your system completely reaching the lower chakras and we invite you to breathe in here and to form the sphere of light all around this area Allowing the light to be directed on the spine, going higher and higher, reaching the crown chakra. We encourage you as well to lighter your diet for the duration of this whole workshop. 
to keep a healthy and a lighter diet because this is how you are able to lower the density and to integrate more light in your system. You are also encouraged to spend more time in silence and spend more time in meditation and to do the practices once you have learned them. As well, we share with you that activating the Kundalini and working with the central sun goes together with reprogramming the human mind. So it is highly important before you start reprogramming to be sure that you're able to connect with the central sun and to drag the energy in your system, to activate the lower chakras, to activate the Kundalini energy, because this is how you change the inner matrix by matching the new frequencies with a new way of thinking. We also share with you that one without another cannot really work that whenever you try to integrate and generate a very high vibrational state and your thinking process does not match that higher vibrational state because of the old programs running there, the new frequencies will not be hold. That's why we teach you now how to access these frequencies right from within and how to match them with the intention of reprogramming the mind, changing by changing all of those old patterns which are not useful for you, which are not functional for you, which do not match the new vibrational state. We invite you to take one more deep breath and to slowly shift your attention in the space of your heart. To stay centered in the heart chakra while we connect this energy center with the central sun. Allowing the light from the central sun to be integrated in the heart chakra to activate it more and more to open up this energy center And now we invite you to slowly open your eyes, to start moving, to feel your physical body, to be sure that you're here and now. We thank you for receiving this transmission from the Central Sun and we highly invite you to keep listening to it until you feel that you have fully registered this frequency until you're able to close your eyes, to think about the central sun, to imagine the central sun and to connect with the energy and activate it in the body immediately. So we encourage you to keep listening to it until you feel that you have completely downloaded the frequency. And we invite you now to take a deep breath and to exhale. And in the following moments, we want to share with you some information about how you actually generate what you call the reality. What are the main principles? What is the basic? What are the basics for generating the reality? Why there is no such thing as an outside reality or outside circumstances? and how to train your mind into letting go of any type of outside story. We want to kindly remind you that you project your reality each and every moment, that you live in a holographic game, 
in a holographic projection. That's why your reality is not the way you, your mind perceives it. That's why we are here to teach you how to project with awareness how to observe your creations and how to bring them into existence with by being fully conscious. We invite you to breathe in and to keep breathing in deeply for the entire duration of this workshop to know that the higher amount of oxygen helps you to integrate this information. Therefore, we keep reminding you to breathe profoundly and to allow the information to be naturally stored in all of your energy centers and in your subconscious mind. We want to kindly remind you that you project the reality through your thoughts, emotion, and your mind and your main uh, vibrational state, which means that each and every moment you project a different reality, you create a different reality, and that it is always your own choice on what you actually bring into existence. That's why we invite you to let go of any kind of stories which do not match your highest possible intentions. We invite you to let go of any kind of story that you do not want to bring on your timeline. And whenever you notice that the mind creates such a story, being it created out of fear, being it created out of anxiety, being it just a story that you have seen on your TVs, on in your media. We ask you to, we kindly invite you to ask yourselves the question, is this exactly what I want to create in my reality? If the answer is no, you are invited to let go of that story, to ask yourself, what do I really want to create? What do I really want to generate? To think of a better solution, not by keeping your attention on that story, but by shifting completely to a different reality, providing a better outcome. Therefore, we invite you to become aware that you create the reality each and every moment through your thoughts, emotions, and your main vibratory state, which is formed by the energy in all of your main energy centers. So it is formed by all of your experiences, all of your emotions, and all of your thoughts overall. Therefore, we invite you to become aware that once you get into what you would call a negative pattern, a negative mind pattern, and you keep going on that negative pattern, you keep creating thoughts and believing into those thoughts that match that negative pattern, you're actually shifting from one reality to another, having exactly the same low vibrator vibratory state. Whenever we use positive or negative, lower or higher, we do not refer to the ultimate reality. We just use these terms because we know that this is how your mind used to think. And whenever we say positive or negative, we relate only to your own intentions. For example, 
if you keep thinking, I don't want this to happen, I am afraid that this is not going to happen the way I want, and you keep thinking like that, these thoughts would not be aligned with your intention of creating a better outcome. Therefore, we name this kind of thoughts being negative, not because they are really negative. We consider that all energy is perfectly neutral, but because they are negative in accordance with your highest intentions. Your highest intentions are determined by your vibratory state, which means that even if you know your highest intentions or not, they are still there and they will still make space in your system and they will still interfere with the whole creational process. We invite you to breathe in and breathe out. And we share with you that whenever you want to reach a certain outcome, but there are certain emotions related to fear, worries, anxiety, untrust, and so on, what you actually do is to move from one timeline to another or to crystallize a certain timeline by creating thoughts in accordance with a certain vibrational state which means that whenever you start thinking, I cannot do this, or this is not possible, or this is going to go wrong, or I'm not going to be able to reach this point, what you actually do is to create a completely new timeline and to keep moving on that timeline until you crystallize it, until you get uh, the full story, and you place yourself more and more on that timeline from where would not be so simple to move out because you will need to suddenly raise your vibration to that state that matches a new timeline with a better outcome. Once a certain timeline is fully crystallized, it's harder for you to be able to shift your thoughts and to match a timeline with a better, which has a better outcome. We also remind you, we also kindly remind you that there is actually no time, that there is actually no past nor future, that everything happens right here, right now, that Actually, all the timelines have been already created. So whenever you, we say that you create a timeline, we actually say we move, you choose a specific reality, but that reality has already been created. And because we can have access to all of your timelines, you can also have access to all of your timelines. You can actually learn how to choose the timeline with a better outcome by learning how to direct the mind into positive thinking, by learning and training the mind into staying on a specific timeline and crystallizing exactly that timeline, which matches your highest possible intentions. We also want to remind you that when we say the highest possible intentions, we always relate to the love vibration, knowing that all of you at the highest possible level, all of you have chosen to manifest love and peace on the earth plane. So what we actually do is to teach you how to choose those timelines 
on which, which match perfectly the vibrations of peace and love. This is our goal here. This is our purpose on interacting with the earth plane. This doesn't mean that other vibrations are lower. This doesn't mean that generating fear is negative or is um, not useful or so on. We refer to the 3D reality as a game, as an experience. And we know that each and every emotion has its own role, but we are here to encourage you and to facilitate your uh, vibrational state to shift completely to generating more peace and love. We invite you to take a deep breath and to exhale. We want you as well to become aware that you create your reality through each and every thought, even if you do not see the results of that thought, you do not see how that single thought projects the reality immediately, we share with you that this happens because you perceive reality as being linear, which means that you create a certain time delay between the way you think, between your thoughts and their manifestation. That's why it might be that sometimes you do not see the outcome of your thoughts, you do not see your own projection, that's why sometimes you have the tendency of blaming others for what you bring into creation. That's why you might think that the random chatter of the mind has absolutely no impact, that it can just come and go and nothing actually happens. We share with you that this is not true, that you create, you project your reality through each and every thought, just that sometimes you project into different realities that you cannot see. And this is uh, what usually happens uh, with those thoughts that seem to disappear, that seem not to create anything. You actually create with them in different realities. This is what happens whenever you imagine a specific story in your mind you actually create that story in this reality or in another reality. This is what happens whenever you create a lot of negative thinking. You actually tap more and more into that timeline until you crystallize it and you end up leaving that story. And whenever you choose to believe in different stories that you do not like, that do not fit uh, your wishes, your desires, you actually bring them on your timeline and you end up leaving them. Therefore, we invite you to learn how to train your mind, to learn how to reprogram your inner matrix by shifting your mind through generating only positive thinking, to observe what happens, to observe how your vibrational state rises and how from this state would be very simple to notice any kind of old pattern and to consciously change it with a better one, with a more functional one for you. You also always have the choice to just let go of old mind patterns and to just observe the mind exactly as it is, not believing in any kind of fault, just allowing the thoughts to come and go naturally, knowing that there is no need to believe in them, 
learning how to witness them. We share with you that this is the highest approach. This is the best. This would create the best version of yourselves. But we know that to get there, you will have to understand how the mind works, how to change the old habits, and how to go into this step much easier, not carrying with you the old programming. Because whenever you carry within the old programs of the mind, those programs will increase in intensity more and more. And they will come into the mind exactly at those points when you are vulnerable. And if you don't know how to watch them and how not to react to them, they will keep creating your reality. That's why we have taught you how to integrate new frequencies. We have worked with you at the energetical level. And now we are going to work as well with the mental body because we consider that this body is highly important and it has to be fully integrated like all the others. Therefore, we invite you to take a deep breath And to exhale. And take one more deep breath and exhale. We thank you for receiving this transmission. We love you. We love you. We love you. We are going to take a break for five minutes because then we are going into the um, uh, practical meditation. The first part of this training is how to generate only positive thoughts. So for this to happen, uh, we are going to have a second meditation and I invite you to take a few minutes break. Thank you. Oh, slides on the screen. If you can please start the recording. Yeah, I have. Thank you. Okay. We invite you to take a deep breath in and to breathe out. To feel the connection with the air element and to allow yourselves to bring a higher amount of oxygen in your system during this session. We want to provide some information about how to reprogram the human mind. What does it mean to actually to reprogram it? What are the based collective programs and how we are going to gently change those? We share with you that once we have started to activate your light body, your holographic body, we want you to become more and more aware that your reality is not bounded, is not limited at all. That as your body is a holographic one, is a body made out of light, you have the ability 
to create without any kind of limits. We want you to understand this. And the first program that would be useful to introduce to adult would be introduced by giving your mind the intention, the thought that you have a light body, you have a holographic body, therefore this reality is completely unlimited. And you do so by saying, my body is made out of light. I have a holographic body. I activate the entire holographic sequence. And I know that this reality is completely unlimited. By giving this intention and reminding yourselves as often as you can that you live in a completely unlimited reality, which is limited only by your own thoughts. And by changing those limited thoughts and by adding those unlimited ones, those programs that allow you to think in an unlimited way, you actually allow yourselves to create um, staying fully aligned with the highest possible vibration. We always encourage you to align yourselves with the source, to align yourselves with the pure vibration of love, to give another intention for whatever you think, whatever you say and whatever you do to be formed out of the vibration of love. And to keep reminding yourselves that you live in an unlimited reality, that everything is possible. And this would be the main program that you're going to insert, that you're going to adopt. And this program will replace the old pattern saying, I know that I'm bounded, I know that I'm limited, I know that I'm depending on others, I know that I depend on an outside world, outside circumstances, and so on. Therefore, the main step is to replace the old paradigm that states I am limited and my possibilities are limited in a human body with a complete new paradigm stating I have a holographic body, which means that I can create in an unlimited way. Everything is absolutely possible. This would be the main program that you're going to change. And we share with you and we know that there are different fields of science in your society right now and that you have discovered that the mind can be reprogrammed, that new affirmations, new intentions can be brought. We share with you that this can happen only in a certain order because some of those running programs, the basic ones, have to be first replaced, to be first removed for you to be able to insert new ones. You will replace them by becoming conscious about them, by observing the beliefs related to them, by changing those beliefs and allowing yourselves to change those beliefs in accordance with the higher frequencies that you have received, and by bringing up the new program, the new idea. In this case would be to replace the old paradigm, I live in a limited reality, 
with the new one stating I have a holographic body and I know that everything is possible. We invite you to take a deep breath and to exhale. We share with you that there are many other codes running at this time and those codes are fully available for the main collective mind, what you call the collective consciousness, and that you always have a choice. If you want to join a certain collective way of thinking, or if you withdraw from that way of thinking and you create a new one. We have previously shared with you that all of you are light workers, all of you are frequency holders. Therefore, you have all chosen to come here and be the game changers. So we invite you to remember to access your blueprint, to access your memories, to remember that you're not here to follow the collective consciousness, but you're here to bring more peace and love and to create a better reality. Invite you to take a deep breath and to exhale. We thank you for being here. We thank you for sharing your amazing presence here. We also share with you that by connecting with the central sun and using the light, the light from the central sun clears up your energy centers, clears up whatever you have previously stored and allow the energy in the energy center to be fully functional and to move accordingly to your highest intentions. And now we invite you to close your eyes to choose a comfortable position to be sure that you have a piece of paper and a pen in front of you, a real piece of paper and a pen. Not to imagine that you have one, but that you really have a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil just in front of you. Because once in a while you're going to open your eyes and make small signs on the paper. And before you close your eyes, we want you to write down on the piece of paper to write down positive thoughts and under this line to write down negative thoughts. Because during this meditation, you're going to identify what happens in your mind and you're going to identify what we call the positive and the negative thoughts. And to do so, we are going to explain you what do we refer to when we say positive and what we do refer to whenever we say negative. When we say positive thoughts, we refer to those positives that are formed out from the vibrations of peace and love and light. And all those thoughts that match your highest intentions, all your thoughts, that are formed in accordance with your own intentions. Which means that any kind of thought that states, that brings any kind of fear, any kind of anxiety, any kind of rejection of the current reality, any kind of judgment towards other people or yourselves, 
any kind of imagining if that imagining is not made up consciously with full awareness because by imagining you're creating here and throughout other realities so any kind of imagining that comes from random chattering of the mind without being made fully conscious goes to the section negative thoughts whatever kind of imagination you bring into your mind and it is done in full awareness because you want to create that thing that you imagine about in your reality or in other realities that will go to the section positive thoughts whatever judgmental thoughts around you or other people whatever thoughts that reject the current reality at any possible level by stating i don't like this i don't agree with this i think that this situation is harmful harmful for myself or for the society any kind of thought that rejects the current reality goes to the section negative thoughts any kind of thoughts that are formed out of fear that are formed out of anger they will go to the same section of negative thoughts therefore we invite you now to keep the piece of paper and the pen close to you to slowly close your eyes and just to allow yourselves to get used with your minds to observe how the thoughts form in the mind how they come and go naturally and to do so for the next 20 minutes just by allowing the thoughts to come naturally and to disappear from the mind in the same natural way and this time we ask you just to observe and whenever you notice a positive thought and you think that that is a positive one just to make a simple line on uh just to make a simple line that matches the column with positive thoughts and whenever you notice a negative one what what we call a negative one just to make a sign a simple line in the column which is named negative thoughts therefore you're going to keep the pen in your hands at all times and you're going to be close to the piece of paper while you keep your eyes closed and you open them only to write down only to make the simple lines and we encourage you just to allow all the thoughts to come and go exactly as they do naturally whenever you notice a positive one to make a simple line whenever you notice a negative one to make a simple line and whenever you think that uh, the four doesn't match any of these columns just to allow yourselves to go on without uh, drawing anything on the paper I ask you to do so for the next 20 minutes and we are here to support you guide you to take care that you know what you have to do and that you're doing it joyfully that you take it as a journey as a beautiful and interesting journey in the mind body thank you
And whenever you notice that there are no thoughts forming in the mind, there is no need to try to create them, just to allow the mind to work naturally, just to allow the thoughts to be formed naturally, and to observe them exactly as they are. And whenever you notice that there are no thoughts, We invite you to notice 
What happens in the body whenever a negative thought is generated? And what happens in the body whenever the mind generates a positive thought? And we invite you to notice that whenever the mind generates a negative thought, the rhythm of the breath will change, the rhythm of the heartbeats will change. And by learning how to notice this as fast as possible, you will learn how to recognize negative patterns very easily. Therefore, for now, we invite you just to notice if anything happens differently when the mind generates positive thoughts, if something differently happens whenever the mind generates the negative ones. And to allow yourselves to continue noticing, continue observing the mind as it is. I invite you as well not to reject any kind of thoughts. We do not use the labels positive and negative to teach you how to reject and how to desire different thoughts, but just for you to observe the patterns of the mind. So we ask you kindly not to reject any kind of thoughts and not to wish to develop more of the positive thinking, but just to observe for now. And whenever you notice that the thought goes in the section that we have described for you, just to make a simple line for you to be able to count later and to keep watching the mind naturally.
And we invite you slowly to shift your attention from observing the thoughts into centering in the heart center. And we invite you to take a deep breath in here and to exhale. To connect with the pure vibration of love. And to allow this vibration to connect naturally each and every of you right here, right now. And to keep spreading further this vibration by visualizing it, by sensing it, by feeling how the heart center expands more and more. Feeling how the pure vibration of love embraces all of your energy centers. It embraces your entire physical structure, your mental body, the emotional one as well, and the astral body. And how the pure vibration of love spreads even further. Embracing your entire environment, your surroundings, all the people around you. Going even farther, being spread towards all the waters of Mother Earth. All the vegetation kingdom, all the animal kingdom as well. And we send a lot of, a lot of light and love here. And how the pure vibration of love expands even more, circling and embracing the entire planet. And you can see now the planet shining, being fully supported by the vibration of love, being, being fully supported as well by the energy from the central sun. And we keep expanding this light and love all around the planet. And we invite you to do the same through your purest intentions. Just to allow to visualize, to sense the energy of light and love embracing the entire planet. We are very grateful for your kind intentions. We are very grateful for the way you manifest them. We thank you for receiving this transmission, for sharing this information further on the earth plane. We love you. We love you. We love you.